Hello, this is Palico Page, and welcome back to more of the Curious Expedition. And we've had an update. It's up to Alpha 25 Dicey Actions. Now, I have read briefly through the update text to see what's going on, and it would appear the main thing added to this is when you go into certain areas, you used to be able to just use equipment in that area in order to give you an advantage. Now you can actually use a dice roll instead so if you have the appropriate dice in in your inventory with, with the people you're using uh, in your expedition you can possibly roll correctly and not have to use a bit of inventory like for instance the example they showed on their video was they were going into a cave and they could either use a torch or they could roll a dice for perception which is the blue dice with the ion and if that came across they could just go in and not have to use a torch which gives you a bit of extra way of, of going into these places and not thinking oh I can't do that because I haven't got the inventory needed in order to do so which is obviously good because it means that you can possibly go in there and get something out of it rather than just brushing it off straight away super duper now there were a few other things which uh, were written up for this update I'll put the update link down in the, uh, uh, the text below just so you guys can check it out at your, your own leisure but the other thing which intrigued me the most and I'll just go to it up here is the scaling they now have a scaling for 1080p which I'm going to give a whirl now they have said that it might be a bit buggy so I'll do it without this oh that's that's nice look at that lovely now I I will do it for this go but if we find that it affects it too much then I will go back and turn it off afterwards because I do like the the, the blockiness of the game it's part of the charm I feel but the nice thing about this alpha is it doesn't appear to have sliced off our, our last expedition so we can continue with Charles Darwin and well if you saw the last one it's not oh ah well that's a bug let's go back let's go back let's let's go let's just keep it normal we, we like the blockiness no no doesn't like it Deadly jungle. We're homey jungle. Wow. Well, we said we're going to go to a jungle anyway, so... Alpha is alpha. Just remember that. So, we said we're going to go to a jungle anyway. We're not doing very well, as it turns out. So, we'll just crack on with, uh, with the only jungle we can see on the map. The air was fresh and tasted of salt as I stored my equipment on the ship. We had some time before the ship would be ready, so I had one last pot of tea. A collector of sorts politely asked for my attention. He was a collector of sorts, I've already said that, and promised to pay well for any instruments that we would return with. So we are looking for musical instruments this time round. A bit better than uh, having to shoot a snarf rattle and dying horribly. So we'll accept that. The trader was glad to see that I accepted his request. He wished us luck on our journey. Word about my endeavours needed to spread still so I was not surprised to see little interest in the departure of our ship. I was relieved to see that our last, at least someone showed up with the intention to join our expedition. And it's Malcolm Bowell the Cultist. So he's got a, a couple of uh, attack dice, which is fantastic. His toughness is okay. He can carry a bit. And what's this down here? He's a cocoa expert. Increases the gain sanity when consuming cocoa leaves. Except we don't have any cocoa leaves as it stands right now. We've also got full inventory, which isn't good. So, uh, well, beggars can't be choosers. We could use a cultist and welcome Malcolm Bowell in our trek. We could use trek members, so we welcomed him. At last, our vessel was ready to set sail. So, again, we haven't got any animals to improve, so there's no point going there, but we can get some equipment. Now, it would appear, because we did get a bit of money last time, I figured we needed to strategize on the cash rather than the fame, that we can buy some whiskey. We still have our soldier who uh, gets uh, more sanity when drinking whiskey, so that's not too shabby. We'll, we'll take we'll take seven of those. Is there anything else I really need? We've got some torches. Dynamite I'm not too fussed by. We've got some rope. Machetes come in handy, so let's take ten machetes and Let's take the rest of the whiskey. You never know. We're going to free up a space straight away by using the costume flare, so that'll get rid of that. 
and if we come across a village we might be able to find uh, an animal which we'll be able to take so yeah I'm, I'm happy with that i'm happy with that my heart jumped with joy as i heard that the vessel was ready to set sail let's go expedition three Righty. So we're on a four region map again. After barely surviving one of the most monstrous thunderstorms I've ever witnessed on a ship, a shoreline rose in the morning mist. The land lay open in front of us like an invitation to an adventure. So is there anything in storage at the moment? No. I say we just carry on with what we've got. We can always drop stuff if we come across a village we can always trade stuff in so let's begin the expedition so we have a slave trader we might be able to uh, pick up another another uh, adventure which would be good and there's two more things to find in this section of the map so why are you curling round seven nine uh, but we do have a hill here we could climb straight off. That might be worth checking out. A beach in the middle of the grasslands. Region C, supposedly. I don't see that, but there we go. Let's go up the hill. Right, so we have one just to the right. And the other one is probably going to be up here. I guess that's going to be a mountainous region being off towards the uh, side of the map. So let's crack on with the slave trader. Oh, no, just the one. There we go. See what he has to offer us. A well-fed slaver had established a makeshift camp here. Let's inspect the slaves. Using a wide array of foul language, the slaver offered his slaves to line up. Feckin' get in line! Feck, feck, feckin'. By a native scout, by a native warrior, by a native shaman, by an animal handler, and we turn to the market. Well, we have two adventurers or companions which have attack dice. We also have the shotgun, so we could do probably not a warrior, maybe a scout. Would a scout hold more than a shaman? How much is a shaman worth? With a bright smile, the slaver held out his open hand. Wow. Okay. So if I gave him those, how much of a is worth? Not a lot. How about. No, I'm not giving up all my machetes. How about two of those? Can I get something in return to equal that out a bit more? Oh, well, I could get some marbles, I suppose. Plus the tra plus we get in the shaman. That's fine. After one last downpour of verbal abuse from the slaver, the shaman joined our trek. Good times. Uh, and now we have some marbles, which we could... Po oh, they're not happy. Is that just because I've bought off the trader? Possibly. The slave ordered someone to fetch his wares. What has he got? So, how much is that worth? Not a lot. Okay, we won't worry about that. Let's, let's get out of here before we upset him even more. So, we have Sujutfu, a native shaman, level one. And I presume it's a she. She has mushroom recipes, so if we get some mushrooms, we get better sanity off that. And uh, we have some purple dice. We, well, we know what that is. I'm not sure what these are. I'm sure we'll check them out at some point. And a carrying capacity of two. So it was a good choice to go for that one. Let's see what the next one is over here. A stone circle. We came across a stone formation that seemed to be man-made. There were inscriptions etched into each rock. Maybe they formed a kind of map. Well, we better analyse the inscriptions then to see. We began to analyse the inscriptions and found that they would help us to find out more about an area of our choice. Select an area to reveal. Nice. Well. Well, well, well. I don't really want to be heading in this direction if I don't have to. I'd soon be heading towards the centre of the map. 
the compass is going a bit dull out at the moment, so there's no point sort of uh, wondering where the pyramid's going to be. We let's take this corner. I'll make sure there's nothing here. And then, um, if it, we don't pick anything up here, we could at least start making our way to the northwest. That's the best decision. So, good, good. It, it would appear there is nothing in that direction. So, should we go up the hill? Takes us to 30, 32, Sanity. It would let us cover a large area again, which we couldn't see because of the mountains when we came up this one. So let's travel up there. I think it's worth the, uh, the sanity loss. Right. So it was right in between the mountains. And it'll take us 13 to get there. And we would get a region point. And that means we would be able to upgrade Keir McLean. And then drink some whiskey for more sanity. So it probably makes sense to go back. So let, let's let's skedaddle backwards. Get away from that panther. And it's a village, and uh, they're not gonna like us. We entered a native village. Its inhabitants were in reverence of the spirit world. The villagers observed us with curiosity as our trek arrived at their settlement. We were able to just walk inside, as there would have been nothing unusual about our arrival. Our trek was met by armed villagers. They kept their weapons at the ready. We seemingly had stressed the hospitality of the people in this region almost too much. Right. Let's not dilly-dally. So, we're not going to rest. Um, we could recruit. Let's, let's have a look. I sat down and spoke with the natives to find out if any adventurous spirits were interested to join my cause. However, not one of the villagers wanted to join our expedition. We seem to have a bad reputation amongst these people. Okay. What about trading? So we've got some jewels. Uh, we have some horn flutes. So that, that would cover the instrument bit. How much are the uh, marbles worth? A little. How much is a flute worth? A little. Oh, we've got bullet hoarder. I forgot about that. That's going to be good. One rope. No deal. One machete. Okay. How about two machetes and another horn flute? Deal. Done. Done. Uh, let's get out of here. I settled on a deal with the natives. And we're going to skedaddle. We packed up the trek and headed out as new adventures awaited us. The villagers were glad to see me go. The following days I had the uncomfortable feeling of being watched. Oh well, never mind. So uh, let's let's uh, upgrade Kia. Which means he'll get even more sanity. And he gets an extra set of dice, which is fantastic. Because I think we're going to be uh, going after this panther. But first things first, let's drink some whiskey. Wow, it's worth 40. And again, that'll do me nicely. Whew, that was strong. You keep up with it, Charlie. Right, so. I think, again, we should probably use the hill to our advantage. And it doesn't seem to matter which one I go for. If we go for the bottom one, we've got more chance of seeing down here. And it's uh, still going to be the same as far as going through the Panthers area is concerned, but... That's a price we're just going to have to pay. We've, we've got decent dice. We've got a couple of bullets. Or at least we should have a couple of bullets by the time we get there. If we find one every couple of days. Let's, let's do it. Oh, maybe the panther will move out of the way. Nope. Oh, God. Well, it's only one. That should be fine. Let, let's give him a roll. See what's going on. Right, so first off, we can do a quick shot at point blank for five. That's half of the health gone. Roll again. Right of Utony. Unity. Right of Unity. Oh, and it heals as well. Oh, nice. Um, let's pull that out and use the bullet. And then we can do a repost. Get some shield up. Let's hold that and roll once more. 
what happens when I do that? Curse of poison. Enemy is poisoned. Ooh. Or, or nothing. Let's just poison the panther. Ah, small hit. That's fine. We can take that. Let's blow his head off. We stripped what was useful from the remains. So we might as well take it all. We can always trade. If need be. Awesome. That went pretty well. He's injured. It's only a small injury. And uh, Charlie's injured. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We're not too far away from the boat. We can always go back if need be. Let's carry on up that hill. Wow. That's exactly what we needed off that hill. Let's explore the springs. We arrived at a place of outstanding natural beauty. The water tasted salty, very likely from geothermal groundwater. I don't think we need to rest. I don't think we need to rest. We've got six whiskey left. That will be fine. Oh, and here comes the new uh, mechanic. A group of native warriors appeared seemingly out of nowhere. They must have been following me since I left their village. Their leader was furious about my actions and demanded that I pay tribute in compensation. So I can either pay tribute with the dice or... Sorry, I can deny tribute with the dice or I can pay tribute through trading stuff. How much is it worth if we wanted to make peace? Wow. Okay, well, animal teeth aren't worth too much. Thankfully it is to them. What about the meat? I can't do a lot with the meat. There we go. We are able to come to an agreement with the warriors. They disappeared into the bushes. Fantastic. So, uh, we have another three sections to explore in this region. The first one being next to the tiger. Good times. We might be able to get some butterflies from there, though. And it only costs us 20. Let's go to there and then to there. I think that makes sense. We should loop past the butterflies, grab the sand teeth and the butterflies, then carry on. It's a shrine. A shrine towered above us. It looked as old as time itself. What remained of a narrow, narrow staircase led to the only entrance. The structure was slightly tilted and sunken into the ground. The ground seemed stable enough to enter it, though. The ground seemed stable enough to enter it, though. I guess that means something's going to happen with the surrounding area if I were to choose to loot this place. So I can use a rope, which I have three of, or we can try and climb without safety. Uh, we do have plenty of uh, warrior dice or action dice, so we should be okay to do that. But let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've got a rope. It's there to use. We used the rope to safely heave ourselves up to the entrance. We had found a sacred altar room. We quietly looked around the majestic hall. Our steps echoed as we approached the sacred altar. Ooh, well. That's a shiny golden eagle. Has an intimidating regal stare. Mine! And some jewels. Yeah, we'll do that. This was not a day of hesitation. We took the artifact from the altar. We grabbed the treasure and hurried outside as the ground disappeared behind us. We would have to run for our lives to avoid being devoured by the giant chasm that was beginning to form. Oh my lord. So, the chasm is going to come here. It's going to spread outwards. Do we run straight up because it has got the jump on us because we're behind it? Or do we loop around? We have... 29 It'll take us 21 to get up to there I think we should just loop around just avoid that section altogether oh oh dear uh, oh wow well that tiger's no more of a, a threat fantastic uh, explore Sunote 
using handhold cut into the rock. Start that again. Using handholds cut into the rock, we climbed down to a small patch of grass by the water. It was so deep that we could not see the bottom. Look into the well at night. I told everyone to settle down and wait, waited until the moon's rays illuminated the water. Seemingly out of nowhere, a spirit materialized, floating over the water. He told us about a hidden region in which apparently a lot of elephant graveyards could be found. However, we were warned about the possible appearance of many fierce beasts protecting the area. We made sure to mark the location for our next expedition. After this miraculous occurrence, the spirit disappeared into thin air. So we might as well wait until dawn. After a rather uncomfortable night, we were ready to head out again as new adventures waited for us. Well, I was kind of hoping we could have uh, kipped there, but apparently we can't. So let's, let's just drink the one whiskey and get us to uh, this one. There's a good chance it's going to be a waterfall of some type if it's on a mountain. Oh, it's a cave. We found a cave. It led deep into the darkness. We required a torch in order to venture into its depths. Now, my issue is here, we don't have many perception rolls we can use here. And I think it would... Uh, yes, we have one. None. None. Oh, Charlie has three. Do we risk it for a biscuit? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Hey, the shaman came through for us. This expedition would not be stopped by a lack of torches. Our march into the darkness began. I was surprised that we made it without any serious injuries. I could not tell how long we kept marching through the darkness, but eventually we saw some light coming from the end of the tunnel. We arrived at a small cavern filled with the remains of what seemed to be a failed expedition. All the bones we found had been cracked open and, as it seemed, sucked empty. Let's investigate. We were delighted to see that one of the corpses was still clinging to valuable equipment. Let's have a look. Ooh, what's that? A metal cube. A small cube of a shiny magnetic material covered in otherworldly engravings. Hmm. We'll take that. And we've got some chocolate rations. We've got five whiskey. There's a good chance that we're going to come across either a village who probably won't know the stop. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm not comfortable getting rid of the bullets because we're going to need the bullets. Let's get rid of the rope. And I'm not too fussed about the weather balloon. So that'll do. And that is this region explored. And I think since we're two in now, it's a good time to sort of end the episode and, and crack on. Oh, there's a magnetic mountain. That doesn't help us. But we'll get to that point next time. So, thank... Oh, God. And the, uh, the angry natives are out and they're aggro towards us. Oh, God, there's two lots of them. Oh, well, that'll keep next time interesting. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, a like is appreciated, and I shall catch you on the next one. Take it easy.